Media Trust, an empire today committed to media and enterprise running at least a dozen different businesses. Originally, we thought we could do media, uh, media relation, advertising, public relation, and all sort of things in the media because we saw ourselves as media professionals. That's how it started. Its media arm alone is a force to reckon with in Nigeria's news media, employing more than 700 staff working on up to a dozen different publications and titles. It is one of the biggest media businesses in Nigeria, and its reach is international. We had regular opportunities to do training for our staff. We were conscious of also the need to continue to, to improve the layout of the paper. We were not, we were not satisfied with just having basic standards. It started from a non-existent beginning, the dreams of young men reaching out with nothing to make a mark on the world 20 years ago. We didn't take salary for quite a while. We didn't have the kind of office I'm sitting here now. Um, we didn't have a lot of other facilities. It's just our dream, our vision, our drive. Its most famous brand is the Daily Trust, but that is not the pioneer publication. Its pioneer publication began in this, the most unexpected of places, a boy's quarter in an old unknown part of Kaduna. It was the Weekly Trust. Twenty years ago, this is the boy's quarters of my office, SP Printing, where I gave media trust, you know, to use as their temporary office. Designed, laid out and printed to go on sale every Friday through Saturday, Weekly Trust took a space left vacant by the new Nigerian. We were printed it on a single color, just with the masthead. One pioneer handled the business end, the other the editorial. Its work environment fostered opportunities for career growth. Abdul Karim Baba Aminu joined as a student cartoonist. Now he's a title editor. Its work environment was also familial. We started small, just like a, a few of us. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about the newspaper now. There were just like five or six of us, you know, in the production. And uh, we're just like um, one small family. Mainly everyone was on first name. And um, we were always rushing to do the paper. It's just uh, the weekly trust, and we had like three to four days in a week to do it. It took on staff but kept its focus lean and guided to be the voice of the North. We advised Alaji Kabir to always stand on the side of truth and he did that. So the media landscape was very hostile to Northern Nigeria in every sense. So when the paper started as a, as a weekly newspaper, it provided a platform to convey the, the aspirations and feelings of people in northern Nigeria. With a handful of staff, it commanded attention across northern Nigeria. It was a business decision to survive in a climate thought unhealthy for a newspaper. The difference between Media Trust and other newspapers or newspaper companies in Nigeria is that while others started with big money, Daily Trust started virtually with uh, with a minimum, not even minimum amount. We just we just started with something we could just start with what was available to us, but was grossly inadequate. During that time, we don't have all these laptops. Reporters used to go and gather reports. Then they would come back to office, use paper and barrel to write. Uh, luckily enough, for the management of daily and weekly and Sunday trusts, they brought in the idea of balancing their stories. With focus came growth. The operation moved into a bigger office on Alkali Road in Kaduna. Weekly Trust added on new titles. Years later, the publication went daily, the start of today's flagship Daily Trust. And I also think um, part of the success story was that um, uh, our CEO had a supportive uh, board of directors. Media Trust made another move, relocating to Abuja, the nation's capital and seat of government. It had arrived. One move us to Abuja was essentially business, really, to be honest. We wanted to be close to the government and we wanted to report Abuja itself, and from there we serve the rest of the country. 
Its first office, a rented apartment on Lusaka Street in Abuja, Zone 6. The next move was into a two-story building now taken over by a bank. By third strike, it now operates out of its headquarters in Otako District. Here, it prints its own range of titles and charges to print for other newspapers, using a growing number of prices across the country. Well, actually, it's part of the strategy with hub of dispersal of printing units across the country. That is why we have in Lagos, in Maiduguri, in Kano, and here in Abuja. And within the next few months, we are planning to also have another one in Sokoto, which will make the country essentially uh, well covered. And that will enable us to be in every location as a morning newspaper. Its bureaus across all geopolitical zones have extended its national spread, making it the media firm to beat with plans for an international market. There are plans to go beyond the boundaries of Nigeria. So don't be surprised if you see us um, around the country is close to Nigeria. That's an interesting option. Already a house of product is being shipped to multiple countries around Nigeria. Today, Armenia sells more than any other English newspaper in this country. It has also sought business to stay in the game. Uh, we started from Kaduna, then moved into Abuja. So we identified Lagos and uh, we started from Lagos. Of course, from Lagos, we moved quickly you know, to other southern states, uh, especially Port Harcourt, which uh, also happens to be the hub in the south-south. And well, from there, we're moving to southeast. So by and large, I mean, we didn't allow any vacuum in terms of uh, market penetration. Media Trust also has investment in charity, a foundation trust fund for internally displaced people, a scholarship for female medical students, and a program to recruit first-class journalism graduates. Its publications have become a brand to identify, a household name synonymous with credibility and judgment. From the beginning, uh, the opinion section was planned to be one of the strengths of all the daily trust uh, titles and uh, they have followed the careful selection of columnists also of opinion articles that people send from outside as well as the editorials that are planned and written by members of the editorial board we have zero tolerance for any unethical conduct and uh, as the editor-in-chief, it rests on my neck to ensure that uh, that responsibility is effected down the line. And uh, I will say that it's been a bit challenging, but the one thing that our journalists are known for universally is that they have a level of respect and decorum. From the boardroom to the street, it thrives on its reputation, award-winning publications, and award-winning journalists. Daily Trust journalists have uh, been doing grand, great stories, award-winning stories, but we're never entering for local and international awards until much, much recently. And um, um, since we began to enter, I mean, for some of these awards, we discovered that our stories have been adjudged to be great, you know, by judges. Newspaper of the year, uh... I thought it came too late. We should have gotten that five years ago because we have been a fairly good newspaper. I'm glad it happened. It's not so much for me or about me, it's about the people who are working day in, day out. I, I happen to be one of those that had made the paper. Indeed, I had wanted to work with it, with the paper, but of course I was with New Nigerian newspaper then. So, but of course, Due to the seriousness of this paper, I have kept faith with it and I have not been disappointed for the past 20 years or thereabout. The firm is the face behind the African of the Year Award, the Trust Dialogue Series, and is looking for new adventures. It is future ready and seeking new vehicles for news. We have investments that we're making in multiple products. I think over the last two years, we've seen close to uh, seven to eight new products being launched. Um, things like the Teen Trust, uh, we're trying to make children read more. The more the children read, 
the more the culture of reading will uh, be there in Nigeria, so they'll read more newspapers. We're looking at uh, niche magazines, uh, women's magazine, business magazines. We're looking at products like the Trust TV um, that will make us web enabled, uh, ready for the, for the television channel when we come in. And if not the television channel, at least as a credible um, audio visual option on the web. Uh, we're looking at innovations like um, uh, you know, people participation models, things like uh, petition.com where we're talking to people, telling them to join us. Uh, our biggest asset is our readers. As uh, operators, you know, we don't uh, rest on our hours. I mean, we continuously innovate. And uh, this has been, uh, you know, our major driving force. Uh, we keep our eye on the, on the ball. Its online platform has morphed into a multimedia venture on the cusp of digital innovation. It is in everything and everywhere, and the future beckons. The future is with you. I have retired, more or less, so I don't really have any... I just want the company to continue. I want other people who felt the same way I did 20 years ago to be, to be here, because uh, I think what, 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 what you need, you need the, the energy, you need passion in order to, to sort of deal with the challenges that are thrown up every day. The challenges we face in the beginning are different from the challenges now, but they are challenges. The challenges of growth, the challenges of maintaining what you have now, these are all challenges. So my hope is that we keep renewing the company so that every stage there are new people who have the determination, who have the interest to continue this kind of work. From a boys' quarter in Kaduna, to a multi-billion naira complex in the heart of Nigeria's capital, Media Trust has become an institution and it is still going places.